here on GoPSUSports.com in Beaver Stadium with Juwan Johnson. Juwan, coming off of an exciting game, have you gotten a chance to go back in and watch the film on, on your, your game-winning touchdown? I did, in fact. Uh, it was a very uh, intriguing, uh, very stressful game in the beginning. Uh, you know, we just couldn't put the points on the board. And then, honestly, we just started clicking. Uh, we was driving down the field, and we just couldn't, couldn't punch anything in. So the you know, last drive kind of like solidified uh, what we had all along, and then we just uh, put some points on the board. We finally scored. We were all excited. Now this week, getting back here in Beaver Stadium, generations of greatness coming up. You know, what's exciting to you about, I know the focus is Indiana, Absolutely. but being able to, you know, honor the proud tradition and, and the past of Penn State. Uh, it's really fun. Uh, actually trying to try on some new uniforms and just uh, build something uh, that everyone can actually enjoy. Uh, it's just very exciting and very uh, excited to see. You know, I, I kind of want to see myself in the uniform myself. and. Uh, it's going to be some uh, some different, some uh, new and really refreshing for everyone to see. Speaking of that new uniform, I think it was mid June we saw of you guys, yeah. you know, getting yeah. excited. I asked this to Mike already, but you know, I'm curious, what's your favorite part of the uniform? My favorite part is uh, actually the cleats. I never really wore white cleats before, like ever. So um, actually wearing some white cleats for once, uh, it's kind of it's kind of fun. It'll be interesting to see. What are they feeling like getting adjusted to? It feels really good. You know, we have them on uh, on Sunday practices and you know, trying to break them in, trying to. Uh, get a feel for them and then uh, try to showcase them on uh, Saturday. You know, earlier today, Coach Franklin really talking about, you know, the areas where he's seen some growth and maturity from you is really in your experience and in your confidence. Absolutely. You know, I'm curious of all the things that, that we don't see, the work that you're putting in off, off, off the field or off hours, you know, I'm curious, you know, what types of things are you doing and how has that benefited you? Uh, the things that I'm doing is just kind of like investing more in myself. Uh, you know, reading the Bible is kind of one of my big things. It's just kind of just a faith uh, perspective. And uh, also just um, working out with uh, Deshaun or Mike uh, after practice, doing the extra jugs and stuff like that. And uh, even like sometimes when Mike will hit me up, even at like 10 or 11 o'clock, just to say like, hey, Juwan, you want to go catch jugs or something? I'll be like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm down for it, just anything. And Saeed was uh, also along just uh, in the summertime. He'll be like, uh, yeah, let's just get like a, a late night session. We'll always, I'll always be down for it. How much confidence does it give you to, you know, you know you're doing all this extra work, uh, you know, in the off season, people yeah. aren't seeing, even during the season. Absolutely. And then to be able to go out and do what you did last Saturday. Uh, it's just, uh, you just have to invest in yourself, honestly. Um, I know sometimes it's just like, you know, I really don't feel like catching or I just have some, Extra schoolwork, I mean, the schoolwork is going to be there. I mean, obviously, you got to do it, but I just try to live in the moment and be present at the time. You know, if I'm on a football field, I just got to be on the football field. And then after uh, football, I just have to be in the classroom. I got to be in the classroom, not focus on football. And as that translates into practice, you know, this offense is just so explosive right now. Absolutely. What's the level of competition right now among the receivers in practice? How do you guys oh, get each other better? <laughs> that's a lot of competition, though. We're all just like, just uh, all competing after each other. Uh, me and Irv, we always go at it during practice. You know, uh, Ham and Polk is just always going at it in practice. And Saeed and DeAndre is uh, as well. We just have such a competitive group in that uh, receiver's room. And uh, it kind of, it, it increases our playing level to, uh, to any, any kind of <laughs> level that we need to, so. Now, when you think about Indiana a little bit, you know, I, I don't know if you've gotten some chance to take a look at some of them yeah. on film, but I'm curious, you know, what are you seeing and what's standing out to you? Uh, they have a great, uh, cornerback core. They have a great DB core. They're going to be tough. A lot of the guys came back from last year. Uh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be a test for us. Uh, they already went up against Ohio State, who's already one of the top teams in the country. So we're going to have to, we're going to, have to come out with him in the mouth. We're going to have to play a good game. We have, we have to put some points on the board. Well, we are certainly looking forward to seeing you back here on Saturday. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.